Hey there AP Stats kids, welcome to your first AP Stats video, maybe, I don't know. Uh, we're going to intro chapter one, and we're going to kind of intro into the course. This is a good stepping stone into where we'll be going uh, with all this information. Uh, let's let's do it, do it. Oop, wrong button. I got to pause that. So our goals for this lesson will be to identify uh, the individuals and the variables in set data, and to classify them as categorical or quantitative. It's going to be pretty quick and easy peasy. Uh, let's do it. So what is statistics? Statistics is science and the art. Okay. It's pretty much going to be to use data to make conclusions about entire populations or see what's actually going on. So we're going to be collecting data and then drawing conclusions on that. Um, whenever we use the term individual, we're talking about a specific object one thing it could be a basketball it could be a person it could be a dog it could be a cat it could be a cat dog it could be a dog cat who knows what science is doing nowadays in the crazy labs uh, but that's what we refer to as an individual variable is going to be the attribute we are studying okay so there's two types of variables we have categorical we can have quantitative quantitative can be represented as a number, a quantity. Categorical is a thing like brown. My hair is black. There's not a number assigned to my hair color. It just is black. Ish. Gray now. It's gray. Okay? Let's be honest. I'm getting old. Okay? Makes sense. Categorical categories you can't make into a number. Quantitative is a number, like your height. You can get an actual number for that. Okay. Now, when we look at variables, we're going to be looking for a pattern to emerge. The biggest thing that term we're going to use a lot is called distribution. Distribution tells us what the shape of all the data looks like. Okay, how often different values occur. Uh, so let's look at this. So we have analyzed data. We have a male from Saskatchewan speaks one language, is right-handed, is 175 centimeters tall, wrist circumference is 180 millimeters, and it like they like to talk in person with a mask on, of course. So that's going to date this video really badly, but that's I just did it. So let's look at this data. Preferred, commu preferred, preferred communication, handedness, gender, providence are all categorical because there's not a number assigned to them. It's not a measurement. And so if we take, when we look at categorical data, we want to turn it into some sort of number, right? So we counted up and we made a bar graph. Bar graph is the best communication method for categorical data. It lets you know how many people like what thing or are what thing. Now, if you look at quantitative variables, we like to use dot plots. Dot plots are a great way to show distribution of different uh, quantitative data. If we look at the variables, one of the first things we want to do to see relationships is we start with a graph. Because then we can see who has the most, uh, what's the most common number of languages? What's the least? Is there any oddballs? And we add these lists you don't know much about yet, but those are called numerical summaries. They're a summary of all the important data. Uh, from the set, like mean, median, quartiles, minimum, max. Now, what's a pop population is everyone. Okay. So the population of the world would be every person. But when we get data, we don't want to get information from everybody. That's either impossible or costs too many monies. So we take a sample. A sample is a piece, a representative of the population. And then if we get a big enough sample, we can make an inference about the population. Okay. So we'll go over this more in class. We'll do some activities. Hopefully you can do those two things. I hope you enjoyed your first video.